certified most accurate. Now, your first worn five forecast with Mid Michigan's only live radar. Here's Chief Meteorologist Brian Bachman. All right, a very good Wednesday evening to you, everyone. And what do you know? A cold day in winter. Crazy concept, right? Don't get too used to it, though. While it will be a cold evening and overnight period, we're going right back on the upswing as we head into the next couple of days. Catches with the returning warmer temperatures, we will be seeing increasingly unsettled weather as we start to look ahead toward the weekend. In the meantime, though, really not much to worry about on the first one five pinpoint Doppler radar tonight. Live from MBS, we've seen the snow showers and even those icy conditions that we were seeing very early this morning all retreat off toward the north and west. And as the winds continue to die off this evening, no threat of any imminent snow showers. And in fact, by the next time we see precipitation tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night, it's going to be warm enough that it'll be coming down exclusively in the liquid variety. Live look outside over downtown Saginaw. Still some lingering twilight over some distant clouds there off on the horizon, but it's still cold, of course. 18 degrees the current air temp, but with a northwest wind, even though it is lighter at 8 miles per hour, it does still feel more like 8 degrees this evening. So plan accordingly. If you are headed out like some of these folks headed into the Dow Event Center here, just make sure you're good and bundled up for any length of time you might be spending outdoors tonight. All right, on the big picture first one five sky tracker high pressure over northern Illinois working its way in it's going to move across the southern border of the state here tonight helping us to briefly clear out the skies calm the winds down enough to keep the snow showers out of the picture then as we head on into tomorrow you see this presently stalled frontal boundary way to the south and west of us over parts of Kansas that's going to start to get off on the move off toward the north and east with a brand new low pressure system that's going to be emerging from the Rockies and while that'll again uh, bring some showers back on into the region it's also going to help our temperatures climb back up pretty well into the unseasonably warm category uh, once again. As for tonight, though, on the hour by hour forecast, we hit 7 o'clock. Not a whole lot of change from where we are right now. Mostly clear to partly cloudy skies from time to time. We'll trend back toward mostly cloudy skies as we head toward midnight and on into first thing tomorrow morning around, say, 8 o'clock. May even see a break or two of sunshine during the first half of the day. But then as we head toward uh, midday on and toward tomorrow afternoon, we see a few isolated rain showers, maybe even with a widely isolated snowflake mixed in near, say, Clare, Mount Pleasant, and Houghton Lake by about about mid afternoon to 4 p.m. But as we continue to see these showers build east into tomorrow evening, for one, they're going to be rather isolated, but it is going to be warm enough that as they continue to build east, they will trend more and more into the rain category. So we might wind up with some wet areas on the evening commute tomorrow. More showers will begin to blossom tomorrow night and on into Friday morning, and then we'll really see another surge of them come in for make for a rainy end to the work week on Friday. But it's more Saturday that I want to focus on here now because we are expecting a major storm system to work up through the Ohio Valley to some extent as we look ahead to the first half of the weekend, though there is still a bit of uncertainty in the overall track of this system. I want you to bank on some manner of a wintry mix type of an event for the first half of the weekend. We look at our GFS forecast model, for example, here Saturday, it shows more of a mixed freezing rain and sleet event for areas south and east of the Tri Cities with more of a lean towards snow farther to the north and west. However, if we look at the European forecast model tracks a little bit different, so we see more of that freezing rain and mix and even plain rain inch into areas farther to the north and west with snow retreating north of the bay. So again, still some uncertainty in the exact track, but that's what's going to dictate who sees what and how much for the first half of the weekend. But again, want to make sure we're getting well out ahead of this here for you over the next couple days. Be prepared for a messy situation to start the weekend. 17, the overnight low for tonight with mostly cloudy skies and staying cold for the time being. Looking ahead in the first one five seven day forecast, scattered afternoon showers and a high of 40 right back up into the mild category tomorrow. 46 with more rain on Friday and then that wintry mixed messy event as we head back to the 30s to start the weekend on Saturday. Wow, all right. Keep an eye on that. Yeah, we'll be mm -hmm. keeping uh, you posted here of course over the next 2 to 3 days. All right. Thank you, Thank you so much, yeah. Brian.